Hey there everybody, this is NDM here, welcoming you back to another episode of Let's Play Pikmin. This is going to be the last episode of the Distant Spring um, before taking on the final area of the game. So we have one more ship out left to get here, and that is um, being guarded by the Armored Cannon Beetle, which is the last boss that we'll have to fight before fighting the final boss of the game. So let's do this. I've actually done really well on this playthrough in general, like overall in total, of, like within the amount of days that I've done this. This is the fastest I've done the game, like in the set amount of days. Uh, my my um, previous original record was 27 days, so I, I'm. We should get this done on day 25 or day 26. It depends, really, if I get the boss defeat in time and we get this ship part delivered to the spaceship on the same day, because um. The final area of the game should just take one whole day cycle, the whole thing should just take one whole video <coughs> to do, um, and then then it'll be the credits that we'll have to watch, and then uh, and then bonus episodes, yeah I forgot about that, we got bonus videos to record too. Alright, uh, so that's, um, I don't know if I'll record the bonus episodes today though. I might record those on another day, um, whenever I feel like it, so, yeah, I just want to get the main game done today, because we're almost done, this is it, this is like the final stretch right here, now don't make the same mistake again like you did last time, walking straight into the geyser and getting yourself killed, almost, alright, so we've got 30 reds and we have to make sure we don't get them crushed again by the boulder, because that is not something you want to happen. It's the same strategy as the boss that we fought in the Forest of Hope. Just throw him into his nostril, nose, and then attack his big red butt. Throw as many Pikmin onto him as you can, deal as much damage as you can. Oh, he's almost dead. One more time and he should be toast. One more time round. That's all it's gonna take. That's all it's gonna take until you are dead. Until you are dead, Mr. Can Beetle. Oh yeah. Deal that damage, deal that, that sexy damage. I've discovered the bowsprit, or bowsprit. Uh, this, with this piece installed, my ship should regain some of its sleek shape. So this is it, the last ship part in the distant spring. And it requires 30 Pikmin to carry it, so I'll carry that back to the uh, spaceship. And then that'll be it. Um, yeah, I guess that'll be it for this video. <laughs> I mean, I can't really think of any other reason why we should really stay here. I mean, we don't need to grind for Pikmin. We've got plenty of Pikmin grinded. I do want to get these reflowered though, so that, you know, we stay consistent with the flowers. Um, but after they've delivered this back to the spaceship, I'm going to go straight to sunset once I've got them flowered. So then that will be it for this video. It's going to be a very short video. Um, yeah, that's all I can really say. I mean, there's not much else we can do. I don't need to grind for blues, because blues aren't necessary for the final battle. They do help out in the final trial with some of the obstacles that we have to clear in order to get to the boss room. But um, in general, blue Pikmin not required. Yellow Pikmin are required to throw bomb rocks, like I said. And red Pikmin are the ones that will deal physical damage. I'm kind of worried about it, to be honest, about taking this fight on, because I don't know how well I'm going to do. It's one of the bosses in the game that I really suck at. It's not... I don't know, especially because of how badly I did against the Smoky Prog. I'm not going to count my lucky stars and say that I'm going to get a flawless run here of this final battle, so... Ah, uh, well, I guess I shouldn't really focus too much on what 